Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we've got episode number two of my five years on series where we're having a look round the football manager world in the first five years of my Kingsley save. And we're having a look at who's been winning the leagues, what players have ended up where and all that sort of good stuff. Today, we're having a look at the Scottish Premier League. Have Celtic continued their dominance or have Rangers been able to compete? We're going to find out in today's episode. And just one little note just before we do get started. I know I said this at the start of the last video in this series. But I recorded this whole series as one video but it went stupidly long. So that's why I've cut it up. So if the start seems a little bit disjointed that's why. Please just stick with it. And so, yep, let's get into the video. Let's see what's been going on up north in that there, Scotland. And so, Scotland, before we have a look, I'm going to make a prediction. Celtic have won it every single year. That is what I'm thinking. And so, let's go and have a look at Scotland. Well, immediately, my prediction is wrong. Immediately, my prediction is very, very wrong. Rangers have won it. The first season by what? Nine points? So a big, big swing there. An absolutely humongous swing. So has that set Rangers on a path for dominance? Or has that made it a little bit more competitive between the two teams? The following season, Celtic. Oh my gosh. Absolutely bossed it in season two. 102 points. To Rangers in second with only 74. Celtic losing only the two games. One in an old firm game. And one against Dundee United. A little bit surprising they lost that one. But wow, what a season that is for Celtic. And then season three. Celtic again. But this time a little bit closer. 86 points to Rangers in 78 points. So an eight point gap. So the Rangers have got it back a little bit closer. Season, uh, what's that? 22, 23, that's season four. And so Celtic have won it again, but this time with another big gap. A 20 point gap there between them and Rangers. And then the season just gone. Rangers have turned it round again. So Rangers winning it this time by six points. So, it's been a bit back and forth between the two old firm clubs. At least Celtic haven't been winning it every season. But whenever they have won it, they've absolutely bossed the league. So now, let's go and have a look at Rangers and see who is in their squad. Uh, James Tavernier. Is he there in real life? That seems to ring a bell. Yes, he is. And so, he has been an absolute legend for them, it looks like here. He's had a 6.92 season, 6.79, 6.9, 6.8 and 6.7. So he's not been brilliant, but he's been very, very solid for them. And let's have a look at his attributes. 32 years old now. Can't really see much because obviously I'm on the Kings Lynn save. So I haven't got the attributes uh, unmasked. But he does look like he's been doing quite well for them. Anybody else? Who they've got. Let's do it by value. Their highest rated player is an 18 year old. So an 18 year old regen. Jack Milne. A Scottish wonder kid. He's a striker. Very good acceleration by the look of it. Decent pace possibly. Decent first touch. And so since he's come in. He's had one season in the full team for Rangers. And he scored 13 goals. Four assists and four player in the matches. He could be the one to get Scotland back to international competition. If they haven't been there already in this save. He looks very, very good. And the next one is Ryan Fraser. But he's on loan. Is he the guy from Bournemouth? I think he is. Yeah, he is. He's joined them on loan. And so, Gene Kevin Augustine. Leeds fans will know all about him. He has just joined Leeds IRL. And so let's go history. 
He joined them in 21-22 for 3.2 million, having not really done anything for Leipzig or Monaco, really. But then he's come to Scotland and he's been doing okay. 10 goals, 8 goals, 10 goals. So, yeah, if I was him, I would be fairly happy with those numbers. Maybe expecting a little bit more. But I think Rangers will be happy with that investment. And anybody else you want to have a look at here? Not anybody else whose names are jumping off the page at us. So, let's have a look at Celtic. See who have they got. Neil Lennon is their manager. How long has he been their manager? Let's go milestones. And so, duh, duh, duh. he's been their manager since 30th of the 1st, 2019. So he's gone back to Celtic once again. And so, let's have a look at their squad. Players, senior squad. And they've got Christian Pavon. How have they got Christian Pavon? He is a fella I love using on FM. I think Christian Pavon is so good. I love, love, love using him whenever I get the chance. And so he has been there for only the one season. He joined them from Barcelona, who made a £10 million profit on him. And in his one season in Scotland, he's had a seven, he's scored seven goals, five assists, and got a seven rating. So I'd be happy with that if I'm him. And they've got Wesley as well. I had Wesley on my Leicester save last year. And the man was pants. Did absolutely nothing for me. So hopefully he's done better. And if so it does seem like he has. He's Celtic paid £12.5 million for him. 7.28 average rating after scoring 9 goals. And then 12 goals this season just gone with an average rating of 7.37. And so, yeah, he's been doing fairly decently for them. Certainly better than he did for my Leicester team. And, oh, Phil Jones has gone to Celtic. That's a move I could actually see him making, if I'm going to be honest. IRL. Oh, I've got to stop saying IRL. That's so annoying. Stop saying it, Spen. But anyway, he's gone to Celtic for 13.25 million and he's had a few decent years there. 7.05, 7.06, 7.15 and then last season only played the four games competitively for Celtic. And yeah, I think he's definitely on his way, on his way down now. And so anybody else you want to have a look at. Uh, Matt Miaz, Matt Miaz, Miazga, I think that's how you say it, doesn't he play for like Forest in real life, or have I got that wrong, I've got that wrong, I think he's been at Forest in one of my saves at some point, and in real life he is with, he is with Chelsea, but he's done nothing there, he went on loan to Reading, and then he's gone to Celtic, and had some very good seasons there, even, especially considering the last two, 7.36 and a 7.38. He looks very, very good. Okay, guys, that's where we're going to leave it for today. If you've enjoyed that video, short and sweet today. If you've enjoyed it, pop a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome Football Manager 20 content. We've just hit 600 subscribers on the channel. So thank you very, very much to everybody that has subscribed back. Anybody new, keep smashing that subscribe button. And as well as that, follow me on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming and check out the rest of the Passion for FM lads. All their details are down below. And check out the Passion for FM website, Discord, Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff. I will be back with you boys tonight for the Real Madrid Classic League series on Pro Evo 2020. Hope you join me for that. I shall see you later. Bye.